so very welcome to all of you and i believe that we are from biology if not then not an issue because uh, these sessions are basically the introductory level so irrespective of the subject definitely we are going to display some subject content in the respective groups but if still you are in uh, the other group doesn't matter because the process and the techniques are the same and uh, we will also discuss about some troubleshoot problem that you might be facing so my suggestion is to keep your phone handy so that you can try it with me and uh, <clears throat> we can see if you are getting any sort of trouble or any problem you may uh, face uh, during this uh, augmented virtual reality and virtual labs okay so let me share my screen and if you have any question any query any time you may raise your hand or may type in the chat box okay so that we can um, discuss it about so i have very short presentation and then uh, side by side we are definitely going to do some hands on okay so uh, shall we go bilingual in hindi or english or only in english english is better sir yeah okay so not an issue so we will be discussing augmented reality we simply called it ar virtual reality vr uh, definitely something about mixed reality and then um, something from the virtual labs okay and i believe that uh, most of the people in front of me they might be using this ar vr no because this is very common uh, in today's context okay uh, might not be uh, for uh, teaching and uh, learning things but maybe for other purposes that we will also discussing so might be you are using these techniques so first the different type of content that we have the document definitely we are very much familiar with the document type of content we are sharing we are editing documents every day you know the pdf words microsoft we have a different type of open source uh, document type of content and the interactive also within the document that we call the epub you know epub normally we take it in the document section but definitely it's a interactive because a lot of the feature that you can embed within the epub then we have the image uh, basically uh, we try to you know differentiate these type of doc, um, this type of content uh, depending upon their extensions you know jaise dot pdf ki hum baat kare you know we are talking about doc, dot pdf dot epub dot word dot excel you know like this one so then we have the image type of content and definitely we are uh, taking a large number of images through our camera day to day and uh, we are also sharing the large number of content in image format on whatsapp on other social media so we are very familiar with this type of uh, with this type of content then we have the audio type of content that we can only use to listen to the content so that's also helpful in many ways so these document image and audio we may call it the traditional type of content and then we have the video which might be the mixture of audio and images okay because the most of the editors uh, almost all the editors actually they don't took document as a directly into the editors and we cannot take uh, you know into the videos but definitely the images and audio that we are mixing together and sometime we are recording the videos directly so we are well versed with the videos and then we have the interactive type of content okay so interactive technically interactive we say that there is action and reaction if i am clicking on say for example i'm my mouse is hovering on this uh, desktop so you can see that i'm uh, you know interacting with the mouse so action and reactions are there and then we have the latest type of content that we call the immersive type of content because when you see this type of content with proper gadgets you feel immersion that now you are the 
part of this type of content or this content is part of your own environment and that's what we called it the immersive type of content and immersive type of content is divided into augmented reality virtual reality and mixed reality so this is all about the different type of the content that currently we have okay so let's discuss what is augmented reality by definition you may say that's a is a view of the real and physical world in which user find elements enhanced by computer generated simulations by overlaying graphics music animations gps markers log etc to augment the user environment as a layman say for example you want to teach a concept okay and with the help of some software simulations that concept is being augmented and what is being present to the user is within the real and physical environment of the user so let me take you to the simple example of using virtual real uh, augmented reality so just a bit because i put my mobile phone on charging so just let me connect So, so for example, I'm going to teach the different types of animals to my learners, and I wanted to use the augmented reality in my classroom. Okay, so how it's possible? So, for example, I want to show some animals. Okay, uh, so what are the what are the different scenarios that I have in my class, or maybe when you are teaching in your class, you may show. the pictures of the different animals that might be hanging on the wall or maybe you try to draw some images of the elephant or maybe more possibility that you have some videos recorded and you are able to show these videos so if i wanted to use ar for the same concept so so for example i'm teaching about tiger okay so when you scroll down you will find that view tiger in 3d if you click on this one then view tiger in your space view in your space it is written when you click on this one your camera will automatically open okay and it will scan just wait just wait because it's a wide so sometime wide okay so when you scan it so you'll find the tiger is live in your class okay so you may listen to the roar of the tiger so you can see you are able to see my stuff in my office and also the tiger is a part of it so i wanted to teach the concept of different animals and say for example i'm going to teach about the tiger so let me show the tiger to my uh, learners okay so irrespective if you have the possibility of using augmented reality now with the help of some software simulations and apps the concept of tiger is being augmented and presented to the user and which is the and which is present in the real environment and the physical world of the user no tiger is a part of this real environment and this is what we call is augmented reality and this is the simplest example of augmented reality you can say okay so you can move the tiger definitely you can zoom in zoom out so like this one you can see the features of the tiger 
Likewise, there are different animals available to teach to the learners. Say, for example, uh, let me show you uh, something, maybe uh, Jan Panda. Okay, so now it might be somewhere. I've scanned it. Missed it. So if you tried it on your mobile phone and if you encounter any problem, maybe that we discuss in the troubleshoot right now. It's uploading because uh, it's on depending on the internet uh, connection. So the tiger is here. Let me. So now, okay, because it, this is uh, on the connectivity. So it's again saying that, oh, sorry. Sir, will you explain again? Yeah. I don't understand properly. Yeah. Uh, just wait, sir. Okay. So I was teaching what is basically the augmented reality. Okay. And how we can use the augmented reality. So say, for example, I'm going to teach some animals to my learners that I have taken the exam simplest example definitely we will go to the different examples also from the our textbook also so uh, the simplest example of getting this uh, augmented reality content for the first hand is to open any browser so for example I have opened the chrome okay now I wanted the tiger in the augmented reality and I just typed the tiger in the browser and then you will find this type of content and then view in 3D, it's written over there. Just click on this one and the tiger is available in 3D. Just wait, because it depends on the internet connectivity. So you can see the tiger is available in 3D. Now there's something is written, view in your space. When you click on this one, your camera will automatically open and it asks you for to scan the surface non reflecting surface you always remember this one non reflecting surface so for example if i try to uh, you know scan this my table with some mica so it might be difficult for it to scan because this is a reflecting surface but the you know the floor is non reflecting so the tiger is right in front of me okay so it's a live tiger you can say that uh, live i <laughs> mean to say that it's interactive Okay, so you can listen to the roar of the tiger, you can interact, you can drag, zoom, you can zoom. So likewise, we have the different animals. Say, for example, you want to teach any of the animals, just click on this one and you will be getting that animal. But that depends but definitely on uh, uh, the internet bandwidth. Okay, so like uh, penguin, you can say the penguin. Okay. So this is the simplest example of using augmented reality. So let me know if you are facing any trouble. One of the person, Vaishnavi ma'am, was saying that screen was not visible. I hope, ma'am, it must be visible to you now. OK. Well, uh, for me, I am seeing the tiger in my screen but unable to see in the space, living room. Yeah, okay, fine, sir. So uh, let me answer first your question. So that's the first troubleshoot that you are encountering. Okay, so now it depends upon the technology that is being used. Okay, so simply uh, you can search this problem whether uh, your uh, uh, phone supports that technology or not because this tiger, the technology that we use at the back end, it's Google AR Core. Okay. So let me search AR Core devices. And let me find out if your phone is listed over there. So this is not basically the hardware problem. This is the certification problem. Okay. If your tiger is not coming in your, <laughs> in your room, so definitely it's a certi certification problem. So sir, uh, let me know uh, what handset you have, sir. Uh, uh, Redmi Note 5, sir. Just wait, sir, just wait. 
just wait it's a uh, coming so just wait please redmi note 5 pro note 5 so we didn't find note 5 no, if, even we didn't find note 5 sir pro is the, so it's not uh, listed uh, under this uh, you know on this page so it doesn't support the uh, depth api so this uh, any simulation that is created or developed by using ar core any app which is created or developed by using ar core technology will not work on your mobile phone sir okay sir Got so it. that's why this is the first troubleshoot and let me remind you whenever you are purchasing your phone just come to this website and check whether your phone the purchase the phone which you want to purchase is uh, uh, you know uh, support this technology or not because the shopkeeper will not tell you about this okay so definitely we have to do, do it at your own if someone uh, any other if, uh, if any other person is feeling the same problem so definitely uh, this is the most probable issue okay so if uh, uh, def, uh, that's good that's your phone is working no it's a not uh, okay website okay so i'm putting the link it's a simple ar core devices you can search on google and it will take you to the google development page okay so i just pasted the link you may save this link or just ar core devices you can search in the google and it will be you will be landing on this page okay so this is uh, the first thing <laughs> definitely definitely you will uh, enjoy the different animals uh, you will try it so okay because see uh, this ar and vr require some more sensors also and we will also discuss that in the coming in the coming session and the troubleshoot that we will face okay so now uh, and and uh, uh, because this doesn't require any app to install okay he, um, this type of content because it's easily available in the uh, search options and uh, google has created this type of content even now uh, you can find uh, the if, uh, search with the names of the different athletes especially who won the prizes in uh, the previous olympics even including the pv sindhu so sindhu right away in your room she will be smashing with her uh, you know tennis skills so that is available on just while searching so okay so now we will be going through our uh, presentation so as i was saying that augmented reality is a view of the real and physical world in which user finds elements enhanced by computer generated simulations by overlaying graphics music animation gps markers logs etc to augment the user environment so different type of uh, apps using the different type of sensors and these are available uh, so that augmented reality, the content which is being augmented is actually the part of your real environment and user feel it is that it's available right in their room. So for example, if you click the photos graphs with these animals, no one can differentiate on the social media that you don't have a tiger in your room. Okay, so now let's move towards the virtual reality and then we will move, go through the uh, different uh, content in biology. Okay, so there is a question uh, by Khan sir. Is it copyright or free? Definitely the content which is disseminated is copyright by Google, but definitely uh, also it allows you to take the photographs and uh, you can use this content wherever you want. But we don't find any such guidelines. Uh, but Definitely, there is no problem. Okay, because the apps that we are using, the simple example also. Um, uh, so, for example, you are using a different type of filters. You know, might be your children are using the camera. They have mustaches. They have the caps on their heads. Okay, they are fixing with the camera. So then, all these are the augmented reality. But they don't. You know, uh, there is no such policy that you cannot take your photo with that mustache. Okay, there is no such policies available because in fact, they wanted that you can use that photo and share it to social media or any other platforms. So same is with this content, but whatever content we are using in the next that we'll also discuss accordingly. Okay, so now comes to the augment, uh, sorry, virtual reality. By definition, it says that 
virtual reality means feeling the imaginary or the virtual world it is basically an experience taking place within a simulation which can be similar to or completely different from the real world an immersive artificial environment that is created with software and presented to the user in such a way that user suspends belief and accept it as a real environment so here in virtual reality some imaginary world that may be looks like the real world say for example i can say the taj mahal okay so if we have a virtual reality tour of taj mahal and that tour is being presented to our learners with proper gadgets because for virtual reality for immersive virtual reality we require head mounted devices that we call the virtual reality box okay if you present that tour to your learners by using virtual reality box then your learner will actually feel immersion that he or she is actually standing in the taj mahal and not sitting in the classroom so that's what is the virtual reality so if we have the proper gadgets uh, like uh, this uh, vr box okay so then you feel the immersion then we called the immersive content or immersive virtual reality if we don't have this one then it's non immersive or you may call it semi immersive virtual reality so let's have a glimpse of uh, this virtual reality excuse me sir yeah please maybe because you have uh... please please hello used to blur background that's why you have shown hello am i audible yeah 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 please am i audible yeah yeah, yeah. you are you audible because you have used to you have used blur background mm. that's why the device which you were showing was not mm. visible okay clearly visible. visible so are you able to see now still it is blur okay so wait 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 So now it's fine. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the virtual reality uh, box. You can say, uh, you know. <laughs> so we will also use this one. That I will, I will show you that how you can use this one. Uh, sir, I didn't get your question. Uh, what do you want to ask? Uh, karthik sir sir my question is for example if we show that image on screen mm -hmm. uh, in in a digital classroom is it uh, possible to show that to the students yes definitely you see it then it is the same way that i am showing you i mean uh, that uh, screens are uh, uh, able to show or not sir that is my question Screen, See, uh, we are talking about the augmented reality. Okay. Yes, sir. So yes, for sir. For augmented yes. reality, you definitely require your uh, mobile phone. Okay. Yeah. And you yes, may sir. screen your mobile phone on the digital board. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So then it is available to students. Uh, for example, if I use Kyan, uh, Kyan is a type of projector mm -hmm. uh, to uh, show the digital classes in students in in a classroom. Mm -hmm. So is it possible with that, sir? Of course, it's possible. You can uh, mirror your phone. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, so it is the basically the same way. Say, for example, uh, I am disseminating through my mobile phone, but I am using this uh, SCR CPY oh, because okay. uh, uh, it's screen in uh, high definition. So, <laughs> so I am okay, always sir. using this one. So I am it. It is ra being rendered through my mobile phone and presented okay. to you. So in the same Thank way, you. I believe you can do it. thank you sir very much thank you very much okay so now uh let me show you some content in virtual reality so for example we have uh, this virtual reality tour of mahatma gandhi ashram in barda okay so if you have the virtual reality box with you so then you can see it 
with the virtual reality box and then it will be immersive because at that time you will be feeling that you are actually standing at this place because it's a 360 degree content and uh, wherever you turn your uh, next for example you are standing at this point let me uh, maximize it let me let me do it full screen okay so for example you want to see this tour by using this virtual reality box so then you will be feeling that you are actually standing at this place because wherever you are moving your head it will be moved like this one and you are able to see what is being presented to the user then user have a belief that he or she is actually standing at this tour so we call it immersive but if you won't don't have this one then you can see as you are saying it now so it's a virtual reality story tour and it has the different markers so for example this is the playground where mahatma gandhi used to play so here is the first cottage when gandhi ji came to this ashram he stayed in this cottage so we called it the first cottage there is a one charkha where we bow on the thread so whenever you can click on this uh, image and you will be able to see the uh, this charkha in uh, you know zoom and then click on this one you will be entering to uh, to the first cottage so it's right like museum so it's empty so you can zoom in zoom out and you can see all around how the arch uh, architecture of the roof and the different windows and you may came out of the this first cottage in front of this first cottage there is a bapu kuti it's written over there if you want to know more about this one just click this uh, marker and you will be able to learn this you know so so let's move uh, inside this bapu kuti so here is the bed where gandhi ji used to sit this bed where gandhi ji used to sit and then uh, in the wall there is one pan uh, painting is hanging if you click on this one you are able to see the painting is written hey ram some of the belongings of the mahatma gandhi ji is also available uh, in this cottage so just click on this one you can see the different stones that he used for papers or some other purposes so it's available right there so his his stick and slipper is available uh, over there you can also zoom in to see the glimpses okay so the different markers are available and uh, if you click on this marker you will be coming out of uh, <clears throat> this cottage in the ground and opposite to this cottage we have a cottage of uh, the kasturba gandhi ji so she used to stay inside this cottage so if you click on this one you will be entering to the this cottage so some belongings of mahatma gandhi and uh, kasturba gandhi is available in this cottage so click on the markers you are able to see their clothes okay so like this one virtual reality tour will be presented to the users and uh, if you have proper gadgets definitely then uh, the user will find immersion that he or she is a part of this tour okay so otherwise it's a semi immersive or you can say it's a non immersive but still you can tell the story about your concept so let came out of uh, and uh, there are some other different markers uh, available at the you know bottom so for example if you click on this one it will show to the location of uh, this ashram in the google map okay so you can see it is available over there you can zoom in or zoom out this drop uh, to see the actual place and then um uh, we have one more button that we call the toggle gyroscope so now again we have a troubleshoot because uh for virtual reality if you want to uh, see this virtual reality tour by using this uh head mounted devices so we have the different type of these boxes are available and uh, they started from 250 rupees uh, on amazon okay so i got this one i think uh, for uh, 2200 okay i have 250 also but this is uh, much better than that so you open this tour on uh, mobile phone and then put your mobile phone over there it has two lenses and then 
packet. It also have one um, aux jack <laughs> for the sound available because they are inbuilt speakers. So then just enjoy. Now, this uh, gyro sensors, it requires the gyro sensors to work. If you have gyro sensors, so when you are moving your head like this one, so the tool automatically move. If you don't have the gyro sensors in your mobile phone, then it will not work. Okay. And gyro sensor is a hardware. Is a sensor is hardware. So next time, if you don't have the gyro sensors, then how you will find it? I will show you that at the end. Or you just remind me if I forget it. So then you can check that whether your device has the gyro sensors or not. Okay. So next time when you are purchasing the phone, just go to the phone's website because the phone is whole laboratory sitting on your palm. Okay. So whenever you are purchasing phone, just go beyond what shopkeeper has to say to you. Okay. Sirf selfie ke lava bhi, matab, uh, we have many things. So likewise, if you want to see this tour in BR box, you need to click on this web BR button. So then it has, uh, as you have seen that it has two lenses. Okay. So when you click on this one, the screen will split into two lenses. Okay. Now you can see whenever you are moving your head, like it will be moving like this one. Okay. So uh, I don't know whether you are able to see a small marker. Let me uh, take it to some uh, good place. Okay. So on the cottage, you are able to see a small, small dot. Okay. So this dot is basically the trigger. When you move your head and take this dot on this part, so automatically you will be entering to the different panorama. Like uh, you are going to enter this uh, cottage. So this is how you can move. Or maybe sometime we have a trigger with this one that can be paired with the uh, Bluetooth. And when it, you are reached at this place, just click and you are entering to the different panorama. And then you are feeling that you are actually moving from one place to another place within this tour while you are sitting in your room or your classroom. Okay. So this is how you can use the virtual reality and uh, how it is available. So let's uh, uh, come back with our presentation. <clears throat> okay, so as I said that, so now the difference between the augmented and virtual reality. In augmented reality, the content or the concept which is being augmented is become the part of your own physical environment. Just the, like the tiger. Tiger became the part of your own environment. Okay. What in virtual reality, it's just opposite. Whatever being presented to the user, the user actually feel that he or she is part of that environment. Okay. So that's the difference between the augmented and virtual reality. Yeah, that's true, sir. They are nearer to us and we are, we are in it. That's true. <laughs> okay, so let's move further. Now we have something called mixed reality. It's the mixture of both the, these two realities, that uh, virtual and augmented reality. And sometimes we call it augmented virtual reality. We have different uh, keywords, you know. And mixed reality merges the physical and virtual worlds, including real and computer generated objects. Okay, in this, for example, I was able to see the mixed reality uh, tour of that Gandhi ashram. So might be the Gandhi sitting there and I'm interacting with the Gandhi. A user can navigate within the environment and interact with both real and the virtual world. Okay, so let me show you one video because uh, I have one mixed reality headset also, but uh, it is uh, in my house. <laughs> so let me show you one video that might uh, be suffice to show you that what is mixed reality. This way it is coming. Okay, so now you can see what I'm going, uh, what I'm going to do over here. You are able to see in this screen. So my job was to pick up this hammer and fix the nail. You can see that.
okay so you can saw uh i was about to pick the hammer so i pick the hammer and then i try to fix that nail so what i am doing with the these gadgets okay so it is displayed over there so then we have this type of content also let me show you now this is one of the example let me show you the another example which has this type of content and this type of content is actually available but definitely you require some uh, high end devices to see that type of content so for example this uh, is a clip of uh, case western reserve university where they have converted all their content relevant to medical students uh, in mixed reality okay you can see the gadgets that they are wearing this is basically the microsoft hololens but other uh, gadgets are also available this is very cost you know, very costly actually so but you can interact with every part of the body you can get the information you can uh, work collaboratively so uh, you might uh, um, came across one news that uh, tamil nadu couple uh, tamil nadu i think you know tamil nadu couple just uh, maybe last week or maybe this week uh, um they have their uh, reception in uh, what we call is uh, metaverse okay so that's also is the same thing it's not the problem you have the reception in metaverse but the problem that how people can enter the metaverse okay to enter that metaverse you require these gadgets as a passport which are very costly okay so this is what uh, this is an idea that what is mixed reality and uh, the content that which is available in mixed reality okay so now let's move words to words uh teaching some biology concepts so first example i'm taking is teaching this cell so for example you want to teach this cell and uh, you have the different scenarios uh, you might be showing this um, image to your learner which is available in an ncert textbook okay so ah uh, yeah true that's a <laughs> really great one but we should focus on what is freely available right? so that's actually and the learner can handle uh, the content okay so for example i want to teach this concept to my learner so might be i'm showing this image to my learner and explaining to it might be i have a video to show the different parts of the cell and how they work different organelles and then might be i have uh, one ar simulation which is available so let's have that simulation because uh, ncert cit ncert has developed one app i don't know whether you know about it this is the e patshala ar app which is available on google play store for android users only currently okay so for example this concept is available in class 9 uh, okay and uh, subject definitely is biology in science actually but we have uh, differentiate chapter 5 and the concept is 5.5 okay so now is coming and let me open my textbook chapter 5.5 figure number 5.5 so starting from page number 57 so it is here so the camera is automatically open when i click on that uh, this bit okay so now i need to scan that image particular image so when i scan that image the cell is live this is an animal cell it's coming because of internet connectivity the voice is coming earlier than the visuals so don't worry about it <laughs> okay tap on an organelle in the list to know its structure and function okay so now the cell is live i can see it from any side i can zoom in zoom out i can go inside the cell to see the different organelles how they are embedding inside the cell and you are also able to see my textbook and my table and might be my almira so now because this concept the um, uh, the 3d simulation which is being presented you no know, it's a part of my environment 
Okay, so now you can see that I have a menu over there. If I click on this menu, say for example, I wanted to know more about nucleus. So then click on the nucleus. You will be able to see the process that's happening in the nuclear, the structure of the nuclear uh, nucleus. Okay. Look inside the nucleus to observe the chromatin fibers and the nucleolus floating in the nucleus. Okay, so you are able to see the nucleus, the uh, chromatin fibers and the nucleolus. Now, you may go back and click on the other organelle to see the 3D structure. So, for example, this is the mitochondria. And it reduces the energy required by cell. Okay. So is it uh, available in regional language? Currently, it's available in English, sir. Okay, so like go back and see the other organelles you want to um, teach you to your learners. So this is what uh, we can use the biology content in augmented reality. Let me show you some more content that currently we are developing this type of content. Even today is also one workshop is going on. So for example, this is the digestive system. Okay, so digestive system is available in class 12, chapter number six. Okay, so let it open. Let me open that uh, chapter number six. Life process it started from with page number 93. Sir, please. Is this app used to the SCRT books or only to the NCRT books? I mean, uh... see, we are. Uh, uh, um let me answer let, let, let me first uh, go through the simulation then i will answer this question and because uh, there is also one troubleshoot is there <laughs> okay sir okay okay thank you sir. just wait just wait it's coming okay so now I need to scan that particular image and the content will be live. Okay. Digestive system. Learning objective. Let us learn about the human elementary canal. Click on any button from the side panel to learn more about it. Okay. So now uh, we have one AR camera is there because uh, now we have the disturbance like uh, you know, we have, uh, we are able to see the other environment also. So this time we are providing the AR camera. If you click on this one, now you can see the simulation very beautifully. Okay. So now um, click on the side panel. First, we want to know about the elementary canal and the organs. So click on this one. Elementary canal. So we have the voiceover also and the, the content which is written. If is you want to hide that content, there is one button that you can click on this hide description. Box. So then content will not it be available. The okay, that depends. One. And then you can interact with the content. Pipe, stomach, and you can zoom in, zoom out. Intestines, large intestines, rectum. And finally ends at the anus. Okay, so then we have the accessory organ. Click on this one, so for example. Organs. Accessory organs are organs which participate in the digestion process, but are not actually a part of the elementary canal. They stimulate the digestion learning objective. Let us okay. see how digestion. So for example, the process of ingestion. The very first step involves chewing the salivary glands along with the you can see the structure of salivary glands question and lubricate food before being pushed down into the food pipe salivary peristaltic movement from the mouth the food is taken to the stomach through the food pipe or oesophagus the lining of canal has muscles that contract rhythmically in order to push the food forward, these peristalt secretion. The stomach is a large organ which expands when food enters it. The muscular walls of the stomach help in mixing the food thoroughly with digestive gastric glands. 
The digestion in stomach is taken care of by the gastric glands present in the wall of the stomach. These rip pancreas. The food coming from the stomach is acidic and has to be made. Okay, so this way you may check it because uh, we are uploading this content very soon. So uh, now comes to your question, sir. Currently, because uh, uh, when I was teaching about the animals, okay, so at the time you saw that the tiger is coming in front of me, but I didn't scan any tiger. Okay, but this time I'm scanning the image and it is being live. So we can say that augmented reality is of two types, marker based and marker less. Okay, so what techniques are different? The techniques that we are using and the software that we are using, uh, I believe it will work on every mobile phone. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming with that part. Okay, so it will work on every mobile phone, which is 4.1 or above Android version because currently it's available on Android. So definitely it will work on any mobile phone because below 4.1, no social media will work, not WhatsApp, not Facebook, not Instagram, nothing will work. Okay, so definitely this will not also will work. So now comes to the image scanning. So it requires that particular image. And currently we are using only NCRT textbook. And if SCRT, because most of the SCRT has adapted our textbook, if same image is available in your book, in SCRTs, in state board books, so definitely it will work. Doesn't matter the image is black and white, is soft copy, is hard copy. It will work on any. So for example, if I didn't have this copy with me, hard copy. So definitely I can open the PDF and scan that image. So then it will work. So this is the difference. If, if you have that image, it will definitely work. You may take the printout. You may have hard copy. You may have the soft copy. But if you have a different image, it will not work because this image is stored in the database. Okay, so if you have any question relevant to this one, uh, if uh, I didn't answer it. Yes, print also work, soft copy also work. You can open the soft copy on one mobile or laptop and scan with the second one, it will definitely work. Sir, scanning in mobile, any particular app you need or uh, how can we scan it? No, 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 no. Uh, any AR application, any irrespective of any technology, automatically your camera will be open when you click on that one. So this is one of the technical feature of the AR, na, that you require a camera because most of people have question that whether it will work on laptop because laptop has the camera, but definitely these are apps and they have the file extension of APK, which is not supported by your window. If your laptop is Android based, you definitely work on laptop. Okay. So uh, it will work, sir, if you uh, tried it on, on any image. So let's move further. If you have any question, you just type it and I will be answering. Okay. So there is uh, one more uh, beautiful app that I would like to show you. The digestion, oh, sorry, not digestion, the dissection of frog because uh, the dissection is almost banned everywhere. Okay. So um, currently, children are also not going to school. Then, the, how they will learn that how to dissect a frog? Okay. So um, there is one app. This is third party app, but it's a freely available. See, we should use any content which is freely available. Okay. Okay, so you can say that uh, this app has uh, three type of content classifying the organisms, frog dissection and aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So let's perform this uh, frog dissection. So I will be moving off my camera. Okay, so start activity because it, it requires surface. Just wait, just wait, it's coming.
Okay. So now you can see. So as I said that any AR app, your camera will be automatically open. And it has a voice over also. If you click on this one, uh, although the camera is very far away, uh, mobile phone is very far away. So I don't know whether you are able to listen. Okay. okay. So now you have a platform and uh, you can read about the instructions and perform the dissection. Okay. So first it says that select the appropriate tool. Okay. So to perform each dissection, step first, fix the limbs of the frog. Definitely we need to fix the limbs of the frog. So I click on the nails. So you can see the pins or you can see the nails, they fix the frog's limb. Now, uh, mark pathway for incisions on the frog's body. So definitely I'm looking for the marker. So click on the marker and it will mark the pathways from where we have to cut the frog. Okay, so now make the skin, make skin deep incisions on the frog. So definitely I'm going to do that, just wait. So on the basis of the marking, I'm just cutting the skin. Now, then move the skin flaps, okay? So, I will be using the forceps. So, click on the forceps and the flaps of the skin, they will be moved. Because voiceover is uh, going uh, ahead of the visuals. So, <laughs> because of internet connectivity, so just wait. Okay, now fix the skin flaps to the mats. Definitely click on the pins. And pins will fix that. Okay, cut through the muscle tissue. So I require the scissors to cut through the muscle tissue. So click on the scissors and it will cut automatically. Okay, now move the cut flaps of the muscle tissues out of the bay. So click on the forcep. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, please. Sorry to interrupt. We have time till 3.25 only. So, and we give, we have to give some time for uh, answering queries as well. Not so, an issue, not an issue. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, so now fix the muscle tissue with the help of pins. And then, now we need to take out the organs out of the frog's body. Now, so for example, saying that the liver, so we can go close. This uh, so then if you click on any of the organs, so definitely uh, one by one we are pulling the organs out of the body of the frog and keeping it in the dissection tray. So in this way, we can teach our learners by using the augmented reality that how they can. Uh, you know, do the uh, frog's dissection while sitting at home. So, because uh, if we don't teach, so definitely they will not be able to understand this by the theory, but definitely this will help. If you cut the frog as a live, that doesn't match with this one, but definitely uh, this will be helpful. Okay, so if you have any query relevant to this one, so please let me know, let me uh, read out. Okay, so there is a one question why um, 
Hari Krishnan sir, that if you can please elaborate your question. Any suggestion for the ARPP? What does it mean, sir? Sir, uh, uh, I was asking about uh, the AR scanning app. If you have any suggestions about that, I mean sir, the Android app. I'm... Sir, about what? What? What, sir? Okay, apps. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Ah, definitely. I will post the link. Ah, that, whatever I'm you see on the internet. You no, know, we know it very well. Just go to the Google Play Store and find out about the apps, AR app in biology, definitely you are getting a lot of it. But definitely we need to check which one is working free, which one working with the ads, which one uh, asks you to that uh, first you listen the ad and then go <laughs> go free one. Right? So definitely we need to check it. But this doesn't say anything uh, like this one. Directly you can open and have it. That's why I asked that question. So thank uh, you, I, will, I, will, I will post that, sir. So Mr. Babadan Khan has asked, how can we scan the textbook image? Yeah, definitely. Uh, wait. Uh, there is a one uh, more question uh, about it. Uh, is it possible to show a human body with apps? Definitely it's possible. We will also show. Okay. So I'm coming to your question. How can we scan the textbook image? Please explain step by step which app are using uh, how. Okay. So uh, definitely uh, see the apps that ask for scanning sometimes they are providing the images and sometimes they are not providing the images to you but uh, uh, i have taken the example of our own e parshala ar app and i am again explaining it okay so for example currently we are developing the content for class 9th and 10th Okay, for secondary classes we are working. And uh, how you can scan? Uh, let me show you our app first, the link I will be posting. For example, you go to Play Store. And click on E Parchala because E Parchala is our branding, as you know. We have different names, uh, uh, different apps uh, regarding the E Parchala. So, this is the E Parchala AR, this one. This is the app. Okay. So, you can download uh, and install in your phone. I just posted the link. So when you open this app, uh, say for example, this is the app. When you open this app, so it will show you a menu, a simple menu that we have. Uh, for example, class, as I said that we are working with class 9th and 10th and you click on this one class 10th or 9th, whatever class you want to teach subject biology physics or chemistry so then click on chapter six seven whatever it is and the topic it's figure 6.1 so it means you need to open that figure 6.1 in front of your mobile phone so figure 6.1 class it means the chapter number six and the figure number one so let me open this a 6.1 what it is Okay, so this is the cross section of a leaf. So when you click on this one, so just click on the go button. When you click yes, on sir. go button, yeah, please. Cross section of leaf is not visible. No, no, it's not coming. That's okay. in the textbook. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so that's in the textbook. So I'm just going to scan. When you click on go, so it will be downloading or downloading. It's a 3.25, a very small. Portion, right? So then camera be automatically open because this is the AR. And I said that every AR app uses your camera. This is the mandatory. Okay. So when with the help of camera, you scan this particular this image. So you can see the leaf it. is live. Again. Okay. So now I cut the leaf into two parts. The circle shows the transverse cross section. I click on this Step circle. And you are able to see the stomata opening and closing up stomata.
because the visuals are a bit late because of the connectivity. So you can, you can see the uh, stomata. So this is uh, how stomata will open. Click on the open. Okay, so then you can see that there is a uh, migration of, of the ions and then click on the close. Okay, and then you can see the water and the other ions is coming out of the stomata. So this is, a, this is a very simple, this is basically depends upon the content that we are using. So content that we are using is for the class 9th or 10th for the secondary stages. So now you saw that uh, in digestive system, we have the possibility to take mobile away from this simulation because uh, the content that we have upgraded now. So it's a possibility because uh, for this, I cannot move my phone out of the image. When I move it out of the image, I lost the simulation. Okay, but now we have improved. Let me show you some more improved content that you will be able to see in future. And at that time also, when we uh, developed this content three to four years back, we didn't have that learning outcomes, but now we are giving the learning outcomes also. So let me show you. So we will be upgrading this content in this app, maybe this month. So we will be able to see that content. So uh, just wait just quickly if I'm able to find that uh, because I'm installing and installing every day. <laughs> the work is going on. So let me find out the uh, latest version. So this is the upgraded app that you might be getting this month or maybe till March. So class same menu class 9th and 10th. Say for example, we have this uh, class 9th and uh, definitely it's a science because we will also work on the different subject also. And then the chapter say for example in biology we have the diversity of living organism. Okay. So click on this one and the topic is 7.1 bacteria. So class nine and 7.1. So now this is also showing the same image 7.1 that you need to find out this image in front of your camera. So let me find out quickly. So chapter number seven, just wait for two seconds. So chapter number seven, the rest will be version seven page number eight. Okay, so load activity. So this is a, uh, it's loading. So now I have opened that uh, uh, figure number 7.1, just in few seconds, so uploading actually, because my bandwidth is a bit slow. Let me check till then if you have any question query. I'll read out, sir. Ah, please. Um, Mr. Gulzar has said that he has tried for 6.1 Kannada medium NCERT textbook, but it is not working. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I told that it requires the same image. If you have that same image, just now just try uh, open NCERT textbook on the internet, one PDF and try it with that one. It will definitely work. There's a one uh, question by uh, Lo. Uh, okay, I, I will be reading out. Now you can see I'm scanning this image, uh, which might be because of the internet connectivity. So let's just come. Learning objective. Okay. Let us see the important characteristic of the Munera kingdom. Click on the highlighted continue button to continue. Okay, so as I said that, now we have some improved features. So for example, I'm keeping my phone away from this image. So now, the AR camera is automatically opened. You can see this is the AR camera. If I click this one, it will change the background. Now you can interact with the simulation. So this is improvement we have done with our, uh, you know, uh, content. So Excuse me, sir? yeah, we have five minutes left. Don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. I will send that notice. So you can perform, um, you know, the experiment. Click on the continue. Only racking the only racking bacteria. We have the structure but because this is a simple concept. We know in a textbook, we have a simple concept of oxygen. Cell so you can uh, see the cell wall in from bacteria any side. You can move out. Pili of bacteria. Bacteria's pili are short and thin. 
thread like flagella plus a mode of nutrition the organism learning outcomes okay so we have the learning we outcomes can the structure end. of a bacteria monera okay so uh, that uh, uh, content uh, i hope you will be getting in this month or the next but definitely you are getting very soon so let me go through some questions and quickly if you have any question you please try it right in the chat box or maybe yes, Wait, um, I'm I'm just just reading the question, sir. Please wait for a few seconds. <laughs> okay. So related to uh, marking scan, it is uh, like that the point to be touched in VR. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, because we are we are we don't need to scan. It is available in the website. You just click on that website. Let me show you where I have put my content, and this is my content actually. So I'm just putting it the link, so you can enjoy that content, and uh, definitely to work. Okay, so use ePartshala AI app. Should uh, our phone support AR? Definitely, as I said, that ePartshala AR is uh, developed on some other architecture and other softwares. Definitely, it will seamlessly work any Android phone which is above four point one version. Okay, so okay. Another question is. Okay, uh, tell me. Um, I'm, I'm coming. Tell about okay. how to choose Google. Uh, choose images from google by uh, demonstrations uh, i i i didn't uh, get that question actually uh, devika ma'am if you please ask that question uh, if you can uh, unmute yourself devika okay so i'm moving forward sir now uh, please ma'am will you please uh, will you please explain that google images all images are not coming sir no, not all images. Uh, I I just uh, images. Talk, huh? images, 3D images. See, are you able to open that tiger? Yeah, yeah. Only tiger has came, sir. Okay, so then definitely the other below the tiger, which is available. See, uh, not for every images uh, they have this AR, na. If oh, you okay. if you uh, scroll down, you will find other animals which is available in AR. Okay, 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 yeah. sir. Okay, can we show the experiments from chemistry 10th standard? Definitely, I will show you. While loading camera open and contents not coming, that might be the possibility because of the internet connection, sir. Otherwise, there is no one issue. You can adapt with side changes. Like face scan security. Uh, one uh, question Can that image be adapted with? Slight changes. Um, no, there is no possibility for slight changes. See, slight changes is a different concept. So, for example, you want to hide your images. At that time, we use the different technology to uh, keep out some pixels from the images. So, if you do that, I don't know whether you know it. If you do that, definitely it will not be read out. So, then image will be captured. Otherwise, if there is a distortion in the image, it will not capture. So please post the app for uh, dissection of that. Definitely, I will uh, let you know uh, via site. Please, I have posted the link. Chemistry is not there, sir. Uh, chemistry, uh, you can check for class nine and ten. If doesn't there, doesn't matter uh, because uh, don't worry about it because we will be uploading all the content uh, till March. We have a large number of content from the chemistry also. Definitely, we will give. Yeah, definitely we are developing some guidelines also for the states if they want to help in um, translation of the content that NCRT can do. So now uh, if you have, if anybody has question, sir, I'm requesting you, uh, I, I didn't remember who was asking the question, please. Sorry for the interruption, but you can ask the question now. We have one minute. Sir, I, uh, you opened the app and tried it, but uh, in that only particular uh, topic is there not all the content in physics and yes. as well as biology. Yes, yes, definitely, sir. Few topics are there. Uh, it was uploaded two years before, sir. And uh, during this pandemic, we didn't uh, do much work. But now, about 71 simulations are ready from class 9th and 10th. And I hope that uh, within March, we are able to upload that in the, the and also upgrading that app also. It's, a, it's upgraded, sir. Uh, local version is available, but definitely we have not uploaded it on uh, Play Store because the review work is going on. So I believe that uh, within March you will be getting all this content, sir. Yeah. So we are uh, have uh, yeah. one minute. If anybody yeah. have question, okay, sir. sir, your voice is. Uh... 
not clearly i'm hearing your voice so we have 45 seconds if anyone has a query so we are now moving back to our rooms if you have any feedback if you have any question any query you may ask there because we still had four minutes over there so let's move to the breakout room in 30 seconds Uh, please post the link of till then, the... till then till then i will be post in the main window okay. till then let me uh, the definitely 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 sir definitely mm. Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Audible. Okay. I will just uh, right click the access. I don't want it. You can see now there is a command angle. So angle means angle or angle with a given size. That's a very important command. I'm not touching all the commands here. So many sir, commands. Are screen self is up. not visible. Screen is not visible. Something happened in between. Sir, actually, we are out of. Uh, I think now it is break, okay. The breakout room has been closed. When we I did this, but... Oh. Yes, sir. Now it is visible. Yes, ma'am. Please continue. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. I I was just uh, telling Monica, that the break. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, so you can stop the screen share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've done it. Okay, so I hope the session went off uh, well, Valgi sir. You were continuing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but the time time constraint was uh, there. Uh, I couldn't explain much because this is a very deep topic. And actually, yes. uh, we conducted workshop for three, three days to get to some basic animations by Navodhi Vidyala Samadhi last year in two workshops. And I think uh, one and a half hours means just for introducing the GeoGebra, what it can do. I have yes. showcased some of my applets, uh, ready-made applets, uh, which are available in my web portal. And in order to utilize uh, those applets from my web portal or from GeoGebra International 